then it's time for us to just put to just to to put the imperial hat back on to say we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough we're done being invaded because hello welcome to my channel once again once again today i am here to talk about something it's very interesting you know the first time that i saw this video i was like do people still think this way in this world because i don't get it this is this is a man the man that i'm coming to talk about is an american and he's trying to vie to become the president of america his name is eric prince yes and eric prince owns blackwater i don't know if you know blackwater it is one of the biggest private military in the world and that is the person we are talking about and he's saying that they must or they have to recolonize Africa because they feel like our leaders are not doing the right thing or they don't care about the citizens so we are supposed to be colonized again and I'm like I was asking myself Americans if let's say if you are in your in your house in your home or in your country and you are managing your economy you are doing better with your country and its citizens and another person is not doing whatever well does that warrant you to say i want to colonize this country or if this family i want to go and do what show them how to live their life or manage their their wealth or manage their economy or whatever can africans or can an african vying for whatever position say that americans are not managing their country well so they must go there and do what colonize america then it's time for us to just put to just to to put the imperial hat back on to say we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough we're done being invaded because our own national security risk is at stake exactly national security interests are at stake you can say that about pretty much all of africa they're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris instead of actually right, hold making on a their country hold a on. better People better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say, wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again. Absolutely. Yes. Then it's time for us to just put, to just to, to put the imperial hat back on to say, we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough. We're done being invaded. Because our own national security risk is at stake. Exactly. National security interests are at stake. You can say that about pretty much all of Africa. They're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris instead of actually right, making a their second. country hold a on. better People better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say, wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again. Absolutely. Yes. Then it's time for us to just put, to just to, to put the imperial hat back on to say, we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough. We're done being invaded. Because our own national security risk is at stake. Exactly. National security interests are at stake. You can say that about pretty much all of Africa. They're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris instead of actually right, hold making on a their second. country hold a on. better People better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say... Wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again. Absolutely. Yes. It doesn't make sense, Charlie. Sometimes, some of these people, when they speak, I don't know, like, what is wrong? What, 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 what at all? I want to know. Why do they speak this way? Why do they talk like this? It's like, in Africa, we don't, we don't have anyone to speak for us. And someone would just be in, the, some people would just be in their corner and they would be just spitting nonsense. <laughs> and they would just be spitting some rush. And they feel this is the right thing to do. You have your America, just take your America. We, you know, if America does something for Africa and you feel like because these people are not doing, managing their resources well and doing what, doing this, doing that, doing that, doing that, I'm going to hold back my support, that support that I give them. That makes sense. But to, to say you want to come and rule us again, colonize us, bro, is everything all right? Like, is everything all right? We, yes, we know that our leaders, they are corrupt. And even in this 21st century, we can still develop our countries. But because they are corrupt, 
that is why all these things are going on and we are not seeing progress with African countries and all that. But still, that does not warrant you to even come on TV and say all this, spit this, this rich. Bro, who do you think you are? Like, who do you think you are? You know, the way he speaks with some confidence and with, bro, sit in your America, we don't want you here. And if you feel like you don't want to give Africa any aid, nothing, we don't want it. Keep it. No, seriously, yeah. I think Africa, the African youth, we, 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 we need to start letting these people know their position and their level, like their smoothness level. We should let them know. Because there are certain things that when you hear, it's, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't sound well in your ears. You want to come and colonize Africa again because you think we are not. Is it your concern? Like, do we owe you? Is it your problem? It is our problem. And let me say this to my Africans too. You know, these are some of the things that we do that make some of these people talk any out to us or speak any out to us. Because in Africa, we vote based on tri tribe. Like, this person is from my tribe. This person. Is... And that is what is killing us in Africa. That is what is killing us in Africa. And we are here. This thing that this man said, it doesn't make sense. But he had the audacity to say this because of how we have been managing our economy, how we have been voting for our leaders. Based on, in Ghana, for instance, I am waiting for the day that we will see NDC, the opposition party, win in the Ashanti region. I, am, I want to live and, and see the day that the incumbent party will win in the voter region because we are full of tribe because tribalism is just killing us we all know that the mpp is an ashanti party and the ndc uh, uh, like the founder is from the voter region this is our problem that's why all these people will come around and say this means to all of us it is our doing and we created all these things <laughs> thank you thank you so much for watching thank you then it's time for us to just put to just to to put the imperial hat back on to say we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough we're done being invaded because our own national security risk is at stake. exactly national security interests are at stake you can say that about pretty much all of africa they're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in paris Instead of actually right, hold on a second, hold on. Better, People better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say, "Wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again." Absolutely, yes.